So I was going to tie a fly. This is kind of a hint for what I was going to tie, but I changed my mind. Uh, reason being is I was in the middle, or I was about to uh, do a video. I was tying this fly. I always tie the fly once uh, before I do a video just to make sure I got it right. And that's what I was doing here. I was tying a fly that I was going to put in the video. So if this is a hint for the next fly, comment down below what you think it's going to be. And if you're right, I'll shout you out uh, in the next video. But went fishing with TJ and caught some crappie and some bass on one of the flies that I tie. So I'm going to go ahead and tie one up for you guys. So change of plans. But first things first, we got to get the hook in the vise. And that hook is going to be a streamer hook, a jig hook. 80... What is it? A 60 degree jig. Um, pull one out real quick. In a size 8. Paired with a gold bead. So let me grab the bead real quick, Lack. Okay. Get this in the vise. So it's got the uh, jig hook. The, the, the angle right there. Um, and that's what we're gonna use for this fly. So, first thing you're gonna do after you get the hook in the vise is add some weight. This is uh, 0.025 lead wire. And I'm not counting, I'm just kinda eyeballing it. Right about there is good. You can play it back and count my wraps if you want to. If not, just kinda eyeball it just like that. And I wanna jam it just like that so what I did because if you put it all the way down like that you can't jam it into the bead unless you got a slotted bead and I don't so what I did is I put the hook or put the bead up on the shank of the hook like that pushed the weight into the bead and then pushed that forward until it wouldn't go no more and that's exactly where you want it <laughs> as it falls down just like that so after you get the wire on there, the lead wire, you can go ahead and get your thread on there. You can pretty much use whatever thread you want on this. I'm using a black thread. Get that started, break it off, or snip it off. It's your choice. And then go up on the wire, lead wire, and secure on there. Man, that is not... Maybe that's how I did it before. I don't know. I kind of just kind of made this up a little bit. But it's a, a fly. So let me give you the backstory. I'll give you the short version. So this fly, I was just getting into fly fishing. I was probably 13, 14 years old. Now I was fishing a pond for bluegill. I was using different small dry flies. I think I was using Royal Wolf and uh, maybe a mosquito catching bluegill. And this old gentleman, probably, I'd say in his 80s, came up to me and said, Hey, young man, or <laughs> whatever. He said to me, he said, You want to catch some big crappie? And I was like, Oh, heck yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Well, he handed me these flies, and uh, I'd never, he's like, You can't find these anywhere. And at the time, I'm sure you couldn't. Uh, but he handed me a couple of these. I tied them on my fly rod. And I started catching crappie like crazy. Crappie and bass. Um, like crazy. And they were just my go-to pond flies. Well, eventually I lost them. And I was so sad. <laughs> but I started tying flies. Figured out the material. Found the material at a local fly shop. I started tying my own. And they are my go-to crappie flies uh, every time. So... Now I'm going to show you guys, because I believe everybody should catch lots of fish. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to blur out, I think I mentioned before, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to blur out my spots so you guys can't tell where I'm at and do all that crazy stuff that a lot of guys do. But anyways, next step, grab some marabou. This is a chartreuse marabou, and you're going to want to make the tail on this thing. 
about hook shank and length. Let's go ahead and find that. Transfer to your left hand and tie it. Like so. Trim off the excess. And secure that the rest of the way on. Now, this one I used a lot of the tips, um, which is fine. It's marabou. It's it's real fluffy, fuzzy. Does some awesome stuff in the water. But sometimes we'll take the tips off and I'll use that real fuzzy stuff, real fuzzy fiber, flowy fibers. This is actually another version of the fly we're tying right now. This is using dumbbell eyes. So trying that one out. I've never fished one like that, so I don't know if it'll work just as good. I'm sure it will. Uh, but I was just showing you guys that you can do the flowy stuff or the, the straighter, stringier stuff. So either one works. Next step, we're going to go ahead and do the chenille. Get that on there. And there's couple different color patterns you can use. This is the one that I use. The dark green barred chenille. Black and green. Um, white and black works. And then there's an olive and black just like this that works. And then there's also uh, like a cactus chenille that's like this. There's also sparkle chenille. It's got like, it's just like this, but it's got sparkles on it. All of that will work. But this is the go-to color in my opinion. Let's go ahead and strip off some of those fibers, secure that in there, and then bring your thread to the behind the, the bead. Then what we're going to do, I just wrap this on there, nice and even, tight wraps, touching wraps. I am doing this fly at an angle, harder angle than I normally do, but that's all right. And then when you get behind there. Now, because the bead is kind of the way it is, you want to end the fly with the chenille down like this. Because if you try to wrap it up one more time, there's nowhere for the chenille to go. You're, you're over the bead. So this is like the one and only time I finish my fly down here. reps and then I do a couple reps that's what I did. snip this off I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this real quick <laughs> from one extreme to the other right there there we go and then whip finish and that's it and I promise you this will catch crappie there are crappie in your area this will catch crappie I promise you and I just caught three crappie I fished for about 30 minutes caught three crappie and two bass and I'll show you a picture here of the crappie the nicer crappie I caught tonight and if you look closely you can see the fly in its mouth so, that's it that is the crappie catching machine. I kind of did a video before on my channel of this fly. You can watch that. Um, but this is a modified version that has produced lots of crappie for me over the last year and, and uh, well, almost a year. So, including tonight. <laughs> I caught a bunch of those tonight. So, you, well, it'll be yesterday for you guys. Um, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday, and I film this on Tuesday. So, with that being said, that's going to do it for this one. Crop to fly, tie some, go catch them. Check out this picture, show you again. And until next time, you guys take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one.